We should note that on Friday, Justice Ginsburg will lie in state in the U.S. Capitol, the first woman in American history to be given that honor. And starting Wednesday, the public can pay their respects to the late justice at the Supreme Court. CBS's Jan Crawford joins us now from the court. And Jan, what can you tell us about the two women who top the president's shortlist? Well, Nora, they are both federal appeals court judges, solid conservatives. They're both mothers uh, and Catholic, but different demographics. Judge Amy Coney Barrett has long been the presumptive front runner. The president interviewed her for the last vacancy on the court. She's a former Notre Dame uh, law professor. She worked for Justice Antonin Scalia as a law clerk. And religious conservatives support her because they believe she would be a vote to overturn Roe versus Wade. And that made her appeals court confirmation hearing pretty contentious, as you can imagine. But she weathered the fire, and that further impressed conservatives with her resolve. And, Jan, are you hearing that there's some growing momentum behind Judge Barbara Lagoa from Florida? I am. Uh, she would be the court's second Hispanic justice. She has got an incredible, compelling life story, a first-generation Cuban-American. Her parents fled Castro's communist regime uh, from Miami, where she was born and grew up. She went to Columbia Law School in New York, like Justice Ginsburg, and then she came back to Florida. She worked as a federal prosecutor, and then for the last 14 years as a judge on the state and federal courts. And then Florida, of course. That's another advantage for her, a key swing state, 29 nine electoral votes. Nora. Jan Crawford at the Supreme Court tonight. Thank you.